Hey all, and welcome to this Confluence question and answer video. These questions came from a recent live training I did. I'll put a link for it uh, somewhere up here for you so you can see the whole thing. I might have addressed them in that video, but I did wanna make sure I answer them here. This live training had two questions that we'll dig into, so let's see what they were. All right, here's the first question. Could you use a template to build a blog as a page and then turn it into a blog? This question came about because Confluence doesn't support templates in blog posts. Personally, I find this frustrating, but during the training, we found a few different ways to get around this. So we're gonna jump into a demo environment of Confluence Cloud and walk through how we can use templates to eventually get to a blog post. Here we are in a Confluence demo environment. There's no apps or add-ons here. It's pretty much straight Confluence Cloud. And I'm gonna open up a space and I'm gonna make a new page. And for this example, I'll just go up to create and make a page. Now, as I mentioned, templates aren't available in blog posts. So if I were to make a blog post, I wouldn't get this sidebar showing me what templates are available. So I'm gonna pick a template to use, maybe the IT project poster as an example. I'll give it a name and I'll just click create. Now this should work with any template we have. And here we can see we have a template that's been filled in and I might add some information in here. And then I'll go to publish. And this is one of the two ways we found to make this a blog post. Now I've already used the template, so that's in there. And if I click more actions and more options, I have the ability to publish as a blog. So I'm just click publish and this will convert this page that has been populated with that template into a blog. If you notice, it's now selected the blog section and that same template was populated. So now if I go into blogs, I'll see that test page as a blog post. So this effectively allowed me to use a template to make a blog post. It did require a few non-intuitive steps, again, creating a page first, publishing it, and then using the publish as blog, but it got me what I needed. Now, the other way we can create a blog post from a page is to just convert it from a page into a blog post. So I'll find an example page I already have. For example, content by label example one. I'll click on my more actions and then click convert to blog. It'll ask me where I want to put it, which space, but then I'll click convert to blog post and this will do the same thing. It will convert that page into a blog and this will contain all of the information that was on that page. So if I had used a template to create this, I could have used a template to make a blog post. So this was a great question. Could we theoretically convert a page to a blog after using a template? Yes, we can. And we could also even publish the page where we had used a template as its own blog post to save even a little bit more time. Personally, my habit is just to copy and paste formatting between blog posts. It's not the best thing because I have to go through and delete things from the template, the template that I used, but it did get the job done. So that was two ways we can do that. All right, let's see our second question. Deleting is kind of okay. There's a page history where you can revert things back. This question came from a part of the training where I encourage folks to go in and just try things in Confluence. You can't really hurt the system. There's nothing you can do that will break it or damage it. And actually I do tell folks if you find a bug, that's good because then you can tell someone and they can go fix it. I do warn folks though, be careful about any delete buttons. In some environments that can be the end of something and maybe you don't want to get rid of that. This comment is getting at Confluence contains a history of everything that's created. So if I do accidentally delete something, I can get it back. And the answer is yes. If I, as a user, delete something from the page tree or somewhere else, it can be restored. So let's go back to Confluence and see what that looks like. Here we are back in our instance, and I'm quickly just going to make a page under Confluence Basics. Maybe I'll even populate it with a template, which I now know I can easily turn into a blog by converting it. But I'll just pick something to put on the page so we have an example of things to use. Maybe a how-to article. I'll give it a quick name, and then I'm just gonna publish it. I'll make sure it's live. All right, I now have a page that I can delete. If I mouse over the options for this page, either in the page tree under the ellipsis, or 
up under more actions, there's a delete option. Now, in many environments I work in, this permission is not provided to most people. So many times when I'm working, I can't even see this. And that's so I don't accidentally delete the page. We don't want any random worker in the company to delete things. We can restore it, but it does make it a little bit more challenging. They have to hunt down a space admin to help them out. So here I'm gonna push this button delete. And Confluence is actually pretty nice. It's gonna say, do you wanna send this to the trash? And it's letting me know that it could be restored by a space admin or it could be purged. So when I think of this delete button, it's a soft delete. It's not truly deleting the page. It's just gonna go put it in a trash can somewhere that an admin can then later get rid of if they want. It's also prompting me to archive it. Archiving will kind of hide it. It's still visible in search, it's not deleted. It's just not in the page tree in my face. But here, I'm gonna delete it. And we'll notice that that how to delete a page disappeared, it's gone. I won't be able to search for it and I can't see it unless I happen to be a space admin. And this is where that question comes in. It's not truly deleted. It's not really in a page history. Instead, a space admin can go into the trash of the space and they'll see it just hanging out right here. And it's gonna sit here until it's either restored, put back in the page tree, or it's purged and it's gone forever. For this example, I'll just click restore. It's gonna ask me to confirm. And there are a few important things about restoring a deleted page. It's not gonna get put back where it was. You'll notice it's at the bottom of the top level of the space, so it didn't go back under Confluence Basics. And it also may not have the same restrictions on it depending on where it lands. So I tend to be very careful about deleting things and restoring them because they might not end up where I expect. All right, those are the questions from the most recent Confluence Basics live training I did. I have more of these coming up. I'll drop a link to one or two of them up here for you. All of the recordings are in the playlist. Please go check them out. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and share it with others. Also leave your comments with questions you have about Confluence or systems and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for sticking around and I look forward to seeing you again here soon. Mm -hmm.